Customer dropped off the car yesterday, so we decided to go ahead and start tearing into it. Thus far, I've got the stock exhaust out of it, power plant frame transmission, clutch assembly, and the starter. And we hop under the car. And let's see, also disconnected the alternator and the, uh, the oil pressure guy over there. Drained a couple of the fluids, and we're gonna go up top and start disassembling stuff up there. We'll also have to disconnect everything on the suspension because of course the new subframe uh, replaces this one, right? Uh, customer has, uh, has said we are going to upgrade the radiator, so we'll get to that. Got to order one in. And I'm probably gonna end up cleaning up a couple of these things as well. Uh, the instructions do mention that we're gonna have to notch the back of the transmission here in order to clear the back of the housing over here. Back housing here. So take care of that in a little bit here too. And a big step has happened. We have removed the motor, uh, rather I have removed the motor and I did a little bit of cleanup before I pulled it, but obviously there's gonna need to be some more cleanup. It appears we either have a gigantic leak from that engine uh, on the upper side or the power steering pump's leaking. Doesn't matter, we're not using that power steering pump. But the AC compressor was disgusting. Uh, I didn't disconnect any of the AC lines because I don't need to. It'll bolt right up in the same location on that motor when it goes in. So I'm gonna leave this stuff hanging out. I will be removing the power steering uh, pump entirely. We'll probably reuse the reservoir. We'll see how that goes. Uh, talked to the customer about the couple of things. He came by and visited, had a nice chat. So got a couple more decisions we're gonna have to make, but this motor is ready to be rolled out of here. We have our giant pile of parts over here. I'm gonna end up pressure washing that as well because that's pretty disgusting. And then I'm about to go to lunch. After lunch, yeah, we're gonna roll this out pressure wash out what I can, bring it back in, see about removing all the suspension components and start transferring them over to that frame. All right, we're making some nice progress here. Um, just got back from lunch and I'm dropping the subframe now. So before I went to lunch, got the power steering pump out, made a giant mess, uh, contained most of it, but I already installed the adapter fitting that came with the kit. It comes off of this line for the power steering. So that's on there, it's been capped off. I have the power steering lines. I have freed the uh, power steering rack. So it's actually floating right now. Actually, everything is floating right now. The control arms are held up currently by the sway bar and the, um, the coilovers. So I'll be able to pull those aside and drop this out. Then the steering rack is held in, of course, by the, the lines and the, the, the shaft. Um, that, that actually is not gonna interfere with me dropping this down. Everything is actually pretty well free already. As per standard uh, coilover type install, I backed out the sway bar bolts just a little bit to be able to fit this bolt straight out. And then these bolts were super stuck. So uh, they're out now and they're sitting over here nice and rusty. I'm gonna clean those up before they go back on for sure. And let's see. Oh yeah, I rolled this outside and I degreased it because this was just caked. So this is much, much cleaner now. It's still dirty, but it is a hell of a lot cleaner. Hell, we probably lost five, six pounds of dirt there. Um, let's see, motor sitting over here. Yeah, we just gonna pull this subframe out. Success, it's out. So everything is securely hanging here. This is not a big deal, but I, I did have to swing this out of the side because the uh, control arms kept wanting to go inward. So I, I brought it down this way got these, this control arm off and then just slid it off this way. Uh, I'm pretty sure this thing's heavier than that thing, so any weight gains you get from changing motors, uh, there is definitely some, some, some balance that comes back from changing out for this guy. So now I'm gonna get this guy up in here and then start hooking stuff back up. I'm gonna take a look. Ta-da! All right. We have the subframe installed now. Uh, I took the liberty of cleaning off all of these bolts for the alignment because they were extremely rusty. I also cleaned off the ones that hold up the subframe. You got the two nuts up there that are 17s and the two uh, bolts back here that are 14s, uh, symmetric to the other side. Next, I'm gonna put on the steering rack, 
brackets, and then uh, we're kind of ready to throw the motor in at this point, but I think I'll probably save that for Monday. I'm probably gonna take care of cleaning that guy next, and then we'll call it a day.